Are you hurt? Hey, you did this to me. I know you may deal with their mother. Me for you. Hey, hey, that's not what happened. I don't know anything about their mother. Give her nothing. Don't worry, Pupok. I will sew my mouth shut. Scene from the critically acclaimed BBC America series Orphan Black, where our next guest currently plays five different characters. Please welcome the incredibly talented Tatiana Maslani. <laughs> I understand you go by the nickname Tat? Tat. 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 Sure. Everybody yeah. calls you that? Yes. May we call you that? Absolutely. Okay, that's good. Um, I got to tell you, you look phenomenal, and it's yeah. interesting to see what you really look like because yeah. you assume so many different identities yes. in, in this show. Including the scorpion. I thought yeah. that. I was going to ask. That yeah. was my next question. Do you also play the scorpion? I do. I do. Yeah. Very cool. Now, um, is, is acting in, is acting in your blood, or you just developed this, or, it's, or what? I don't know. My parents were just super supportive of whatever we wanted to do mm -hmm. as kids, and we all, you know, I, I was a dancer at age four and then mm. just sort of fell in into doing community theater and and TV and film just kind of happened. It yeah. was just like fun and a great way to get attention. So I think that's, <laughs> you know, you, what kind of drew me do, to it. Do you did your first musical at age nine, is that right? Yeah. And yeah. what was it? Do you it was remember? Oliver. Oliver. And I, I played oh. a, like orphan number 68 in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then you did improv for a number of years too. I mean, yeah. where did you perform? We, we were all throughout Canada. We kind of did a tour. We would tour in Canada and in the States and do long form improv, which was kind of like long one act plays. Um, so it was less like wacky wacky jokes jokes a minute it's more just sort of uh, storytelling over a longer period and character development and that kind of thing so we were all actors and we we wanted to work so it was a great way to kind of do that yeah, yeah. you were also in that movie the woman in gold where movie. you um, you speak German the in, in, in the entire movie yeah. is that your first language it's not well my, my mother and my father are both German and they taught it to me when I was a kid so it was like in my head somewhere but speaking it in a film entirely was a completely different Thing. I'm by no means fluent, like I'm not. So you, did you take lessons, or how did you do I had that? a great dialect coach who, who was, yeah, from Vienna, and she, she helped me through that. Wow. But yeah, it was super fun, yeah. You know, I grew up in Germany. You did? Yeah, that's not speak German, I don't know. No. <laughs> but I, I, I was there for a long time. And uh, now, in, in Orphan Black, you play so many different characters, it, but explain the premise of the show to everybody. Yeah, that's tough. It's um, so first season. This is kind of a good way to set it up. Okay. Uh, it follows uh, my, the lead character in the story is Sarah, who's kind of a grifter from the UK, who's kind of coming back to reclaim her life, which is her daughter, who she sort of abandoned. And when she comes back to town, she witnesses um, uh, a woman jump onto the train tracks, who looks exactly like her. And so she kind of falls headfirst into this mystery of who are these women who look identical to me and who are we to each other and, and all this. And she discovers all these other women who are her, are her clones. But and you have all yeah. of these different uh, accents and dialects and, 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 and in all of these scenes you have all of the lines. How hard is that for you to keep everything straight in your head? Who's I don't who? Know. It's, it's sort of, it's just a muscle. It just kind of, you know, you get trained by just doing it. And, and I think, you know, it just, it just sort of sinks in and the, the lines just stay. The, that, the lines are like the least of my worries at that point. It's more so, you know, pretending that there's a person opposite me mm -hmm. when, when there often isn't. And do you have any certain routine you do for each character or do you pretty much put yourself in a frame of mind to play a character the same way even though it's a different one? It depends. I have like music that I use that, that I kind of blast in my trailer and, and dance around and, and you know to like kind of transition into the new person. So cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's a really fun kind of physical way of doing it instead of a like very intellectual way. What song do you play for the scorpion? The, the scorpion? scorpion? The scorpion. Rocky like a hurricane? Yeah, yeah. The scorpion is just like the Jurassic Park theme. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. 
Yeah. And you know what? It is. Um, it, I mean, I'm amazed. I'm amazed you're able to jump in and out of so many different things like that. Mm. You're so talented. You're extraordinary. Mm. And the show is Orphan Black. All new episodes Saturdays at 9 p.m. on BBC America. Make sure you check out Tatiana Maslany, everybody, aka Pat.